Hello everybody, welcome back to another reading. Today we're going to take a look at one of the many cases of the Highway of Tears in Canada, namely the case of Jean Virginia Samper, also known as Ginny Samper, who disappeared on October the 14th of 1971. So this is a fairly old case, never been solved. Uh, she was about to go traveling with her cousin Alvin, who went back to his house to get his coat real quick and he thought he heard a car door closing and after that when he went back outside he couldn't find Ginny anywhere he had assumed that she was going to go to a nearby store but uh, she was nowhere to be found and this was right on highway 16 right before the railroad crossing the overpass as people call that now according to her family she was a very careful girl very cautious she wouldn't just j jump into the car with any random stranger um, normally uh, she had during that time just lost her boyfriend who also disappeared and who was later found in a river but she didn't know about that yet at the time and she had apparently just before leaving had an argument with her mother so maybe she was in a different mindset but either way we don't know where she is there was somebody who said that they had seen her footprints along a river somewhere and they made that assumption that she would have gone into the water herself but since she didn't know that her boyfriend was found in water there would be no reason for her to do that and as far as we know she was not suicidal or anything along those lines so we're hoping that the tarot is going to give us some um, information about this case uh, we're going to start off with the crow tarot deck which is uh, this one. And for any further questions and other things that we like to know about, we're gonna use the Wise Dog Tarot, which is made by the same person. So they have a very similar vibe, which is why I like to use them together. Uh, they match very well. Anyway, so as per usual, I'm an intuitive reader. That means I get information from just looking at the cards. That means sometimes I'll explain a card in a way that would not come from a tarot booklet. Um, it's all part of the program or the system, whatever you want to call that. And I'm just going to start shuffling and whatever cards we get, we get. And we'll take a look what that is. So let's go. Okay, let's see what we got. We are going to start off over here. We see a page of pentacles and an eight of wands right there. Next to the lovers, but we'll get to that in a moment. Now when I saw these two coming out, initially I read this one as the seven of pentacles because it has a bit of a vibe of these staves or staffs, wands, whatever you're going to call them, are coming for the crow in this case. Uh, the page of pentacles uh, struck me as somebody who saw an opportunity. You can see the bird literally looking at it like, hey, there is a pentacle hanging right there. Maybe I can do something with that. And I got this image of a woman in the car who saw her walking there and like thought, hey, we could maybe use this person or something along those lines. Like, hey, like there's the lovers card right here, which I'm going to grab and add to the story because that is the first impression that I got. It's like this person in the car. I feel like that was a female, at least in the uh, image that I got, that it was a female who was connected to a male. And it's like she saw Ginny walking there and thought, hey, maybe he would like her. Something like that, if you know what I mean. Like they saw an opportunity, she was there, the person in the car was there, and they thought, uh, this is the one. Maybe she wasn't even in a car, I don't know, but she disappeared rather quickly, so having a motor vehicle would make sense. And. I kind of feel like she may have known them because as we said she was a very careful person so this little lineup over here it almost seems like also with the nine of wands here like a impulsive action uh, we'll pick up these cards now to just keep talking about this storyline so like we said she was a very careful person she wouldn't just go with anybody 
and it's almost like this person picked her up because they had a day opportunity to do so and they have here the reverse knight of wands and the king of cups this looks like the lovers the couple themselves with the ten of wands the heavy burden that might have come afterwards so to unravel that whole uh, sentence right there, what I'm saying is that it feels like somebody saw her, felt like there was an opportunity for her uh, lover, the other person on the card, to, uh, I don't know, get together with Ginny for whatever purposes he may have had in mind, probably not very good, and it was an impulsive thing to do because you see the Knight of Wands, uh, her first Knight of Wands is always very much for taking action right away, charging into battle, that type of thing, as soon as they have an idea they're going to go after it, and in reverse I always see that as a negative action, something that they didn't think through, which is where the burden comes from, but like I said I feel like she may have known this person or it was somebody who seemed very trustworthy and since pretty much everybody who lives in the area of the Highway of Tears knows that there's a lot of kidnapping happening to uh, people who are uh, hitchhiking. Uh, they won't just get in the car with just anybody, I would think. If it was a creepy looking guy or something, she probably would not have gone with them. So it was somebody I feel that she either knew or had some type of information or something that made her go, hmm, I need to go and see what this person is talking about. Now over here we've got the sun and when I actually got this card I wasn't sure if I was going to put it upright or uh, reverse because it kind of landed like this so I was like oh maybe I need to put it uh, reversed I don't really know I'll just put it upright for now but when I pull this card out I got that song um, I think it's I don't know what the title is exactly but one of the main lines is the sun ain't gonna shine anymore moon ain't gonna rise in the sky that type of thing it's kind of like a breakup song I think but it is kind of like symbolic for um, yeah, the sun going down and uh, maybe they thought that she was going to be this radiant person in their existence. Now the Knight of Swords is a little bit like the Knight of Wands but then with thoughts and ideas rather than actions. So they probably talk of the storm and they were probably telling her all sorts of things that weren't correct. I feel like they, like I said, I feel like they knew her and maybe they even said like, hey, I think I know where your boyfriend is because he was missing and they didn't know where he was at the time. So perhaps they were telling her all sorts of lies, like, hey, if you come with us, uh, we'll tell you where he is because we've seen him or I have a good uh, idea of where he might be, let's go look. Because the Five of Swords over here is like, um, it's not quite arguing. But I feel like she kind of heard his story, but she was already in too deep to get away real quick. But I don't think that she believed them, or at least she had her doubts. And I would see that, particularly represented here with the High Priestess, who is uh, obviously on a different level. She has an intuition. Uh, she will know when something is not right. And I feel like uh, over here we saw the Knight of Swords trying to convince her that uh, they were going to do something good for her maybe, or that they indeed knew where her boyfriend was, or they had some type of opportunity or something along those lines. So she kind of fought with them for a while. And because she had a negative feeling about it, but by then it was already too late. Although I do see here the Ace of Pentacles, that seems to suggest that she may have thought that she had a way out or some type of opportunity to escape. She may have attempted to get out of their presence, but right next to that we see the, the Six and Seven of Wands. Let me grab these three. So she may have seen an opportunity to try and get out of this situation, but we see the Six of Wands, which is normally like somebody um, being victorious, and in this case it's reverse, and a Seven of Wands, it's normally like a jealousy, people coming for your position, that type of thing, like they denied that opportunity that she thought she saw, like she may have made an attempt to get out, I'm pretty sure she was, as I said, very careful, but also fairly uh, aware of her surroundings and her situation and she tried to use that to her best of her abilities and ultimately it was not to be because they were too quick uh, they knew their area better is what I'm getting like they were in their own area and they knew all the ways in and out and even though she thought she saw an opportunity to try and escape uh, she couldn't quite get out of their grasp because they were perhaps a little faster 
at least they knew exactly which way she probably would have taken and it didn't take them long to pull her back in that's what it seems to suggest so quick recap then they saw an opportunity the person who she initially came in contact with who was part of a couple and they i keep looking at the snake of the lovers here as well so there's always like couples that come together and they do good but there's also couples who come together because they're both not quite right so we may be looking at a couple of very odd people that most people tend to avoid probably for good reason or they might be very good at hiding their uh deviancy what is the word i'm looking for degeneracy like there might be something wrong with them that they might be able to hide because the king of cups is very manipulative like the knight of wands is somebody who quickly takes action she may be known as a bit of a troublemaker she might be somebody who has regularly come into contact with law enforcement of some sort uh, king of cups probably as well but i feel like this one is really good at manipulating people and perhaps also able to weasel his way out of certain things they already had a burden and she added to that burden i keep looking at the bottom part of the card that looks like it's supposed to be the shadow of the bundle of wands there but I feel like it's looking underground like they may have been buried in uh, their vicinity and that's what this seems to suggest to me anyway that's what I'm getting whenever I look at that card and then they tried to pull her in to their schemes she disagreed because she had a bad feeling tried to get away and then they caught her regardless so that is part one now we're moving on to the wise dog tarot to see if we can find anything else like um beyond this point what happened here oh there's two of them right there okay we learn about that so we have the eight of wands in reverse again which is again giving a uh, the impression just like over here we saw this as well it's the same card only this time it's in reverse like initially it was because they were taking quick action and this kind of is a follow-up to the section over here like she tried to do something take action real quick and that was frustrated kind of like the reverse cherry card uh, she was not able to leave also uh the eight of wands is often used as communication i feel like there there's this thing coming through like she may have tried to use a phone and that didn't work maybe the lines were cut or they managed to get to her before she could actually dial any numbers uh, we have the knight of cups here this looks like somebody trying to convince her ultimately that it wasn't necessary for her to pick up that phone because they came out at the same time. So if she tried to reach for a phone and tried to call somebody, he may have like convinced her to put it down because, you know, it's fine. Uh, we'll just let you go. It's okay. You don't need to call anybody. Calm down. That type of thing. Let's see what we get after that. Because this person has a heart in the cup over here and lots of roses around here. So they're very much... Uh, a schmoozer, uh, somebody who is really good at smooth talking. They may have been attractive as well because people tend to believe attractive people more than uh, people who are uh, common looking or worse. So perhaps they did manage to talk her out of panicking and try to call somebody. Let's see what happens next. next we have the seven of cups in reverse and that means there is only really one way out or at least there is no option anymore because the seven of cups is normally like uh dreaming up all sorts of different ways that you could make your dreams come true having different dreams different paths out before you and in reverse it is single down to one and that means like uh end of the road just came to mind but i want to start off by saying okay the paths that you thought she could take have been reduced to one so it's almost like losing your your freedom to move but more like limited movement because of some other person some outside influence so she may have been trapped in that location for some time because if i look at the card limiting it down to one then we're looking at just one of the cups and the one that keeps drawing my attention is this house right there 
Like, uh, they could have gone other places, they could have uh, followed the heart, followed the dreams, etc, etc, but instead we're stuck in this house, because I feel like she may have been at that location for some time. Whatever may have happened to her, if they did end up uh, murdering her, then I feel like that didn't happen on day one. That's the impression I'm getting for this card. And the Ace of Swords, right? So they kept trying to talk her uh, into her or their plans. And they probably kept it up for quite some time. And even though this dog seems friendly, although not quite, uh, they are still holding that sword. Like, okay, we would really like you to cooperate with this. And the more you cooperate, the easier this will be, that type of thing. So they worked on her for quite some time. Because they have plans, it seems like. So, what came next? Yeah. So, we have the Seven of Pentacles here in reverse. And that is investment wasted. So, ultimately, they probably drew the conclusion that whatever plans they have for her, they could not continue. Because she just wasn't on board for that. And then we have the Hierophant in reverse. And when I saw this card, it's the Hierophant is a card who is somebody who's in control, usually somebody who is connected to some type of official uh, group, maybe a church or some other type of um, authority over people. And I feel like they took uh, their steps feeling that they had the authority to do whatever they wanted with people. And they probably decided like, okay, you're not going to cooperate then the next step is this so they took control not that they weren't already in control but more like okay then oh, there's only one way out of this and then we have the magician in reverse so whatever agency she may have had whatever uh self-preservation she could have relied on was frustrated in other words uh whatever freedom she may have still had in their presence was taken away she could no longer control anything to do with her and then we get the nine of wands which is a tired warrior tired of fighting so they really wore her down I'm gonna go back to the crow tarot for a final couple of cards so it looked like she was there with them for some time. It wasn't a very quick thing that happened. If they did murder her, then it didn't happen right away. Like I said, uh, they really tried to convince her for a long time, even though she tried at least once to try and contact uh, people from the outside world to let them know where she was. And that was talked out of her head. And they limited her options, really tried to work on her, but it was ultimately a waste of, uh, waste of time. And then they decided to escalate the situation by taking her freedom away completely. And eventually she got really tired of fighting. So let's see if we can get any cards about the future, if we can find her at all. Because she hasn't been found yet, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so we got the page of wands. Now this seems to me like somebody might stumble upon her because this is uh, more of a head over heels type of action and this person might be out there doing all sorts of other things. I feel like we're looking at a forested area which is pretty common in that area of Canada, I know, but still uh, they might be out there doing all sorts of other things, kind of like a last minute trip that they decided to go on and maybe they'll stumble across something of Ginny's. I would like some cards to help clarify that because it's not a very clear card. Oop. Queen of Cups. So this might be somebody who, who is already related to this case or at least cases related to the whole Highway of Tears uh, phenomenon because there are a lot of people out there missing and have been uh, murdered over the years in that stretch of land, that stretch of highway. And so I feel like they may be looking for somebody else and instead they'll come across Ginny because their heart is pretty big. I feel like they are already kind of like out there 
uh, trying to solve cases because they're really personally connected to this. And that'll lead to her discovery instead of whoever it is that they're looking for at the time. So you can get one more out of that. Nope. Last card is Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so basically I feel like this is the same person actually. So this is two types of energy for this one person. On the one hand, they're very much involved with this case and so much so that it looks as though they're trying very hard to solve things and uh, not always able to do so because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, somebody tries very hard to balance say uh, family and career that type of thing and ultimately they can't do very well at either because they can't give their full attention to either so i feel like this person uh well very well intentioned with the queen of cups here because they're very like i said emotionally connected uh the results that they're booking aren't always what they wanted or they would have liked more and uh i'm pretty sure they'll be happy that they discovered this person uh, Ginny in this case, but it won't be the one that they're looking for and while that does help some people It's not helping the people that she would be looking to help because her case is a different one Or their case because I'm saying her because I got two queen cards But it could also be somebody with a good amount of feminine energy who just wants to help so it looks like that is it for today's reading that's all I'm getting for now I hope you found it interesting and make sure to leave a comment and a like that really helps the channel along. I'm probably going to do a few more high wave tears uh, cases because there are a lot of unsolved ones in that area. So if you want to see more of that, make sure to stick around. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now.